video about the Space Designer Warped impulses, I'm going to take a sound from the Apple Loop library and transform it using one of those warped impulses into something completely different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with uh, just a vinyl scratch. So something like this, for example, uh, which I'm just going to drag in. And really all I want is that first little section. So the sound that we've got here is that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop into Space Designer. And what I'm looking for here is the warped effects section here. And we've got seven folders of different weird and strange impulses to be used. Now, the one I'm looking for for this is this one here called Luminous Surface. Now, for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of the dry signal. Uh, essentially, I'm just using this sound as a trigger for the impulse. So let me just play this, and I'll just solo it up so you can hear it on its own. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is very quickly, I'm just gonna bounce it into audio. So we'll call this scratch loom stab or something to those to that effect. And I'm just gonna bounce this down. So we've got quite a long tail on this, so I can probably just cut cut this off and just use the fade tool to put a small fade in so and make sure I don't get any clipping. Now from here, what I can do is just put this into the um put this into the sampler. So convert this to a new sampler track, like so. I think I'm gonna yeah, let's just stick that stick to the keys there for now. And then I'm gonna do it by regions. So pop that in and we'll get one region. Like so. So I can now mute these two out and essentially get rid of them. So with this sound in the uh, sampler, so I'm gonna move this and I'm gonna stretch this out across the uh, keyboard. So let's just give myself a, I don't know, two, three octave range will do. And then, with that done, I'm going to save this up and then add a bit of release from the sampler. And this gives me a really nice kind of quite old school in some respects, but it's got a really, really nice kind of flavor to it. Let's bring the release up a bit more. So now I can bring my beats in and I can get myself uh, a riff based around this sound. So let's just bring the beeps in like so, and then bring this in. There's one note in there that I want to bring in, so I'm just going to extend this down a bit further. And once I've got a sound like this in, then I've also got access to all of the uh, normal processing that I could do. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about the lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response, and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it, and then pushes record on the screen capturing software, and evaluates your work, so basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. 
You'll see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach it online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on the course now by visiting pointblankonline.net. Thank you.